Hello there reason people, Pooba here and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to have a quick look at Curse View Elements. We're going to look at how to get the art data out of Avenger but I also wanted to highlight the fact that there's actually a MIDI monitor built into um, Elements which is really handy for doing this kind of thing with. So the first thing we're going to need to do obviously is go and grab ourselves um, a copy of Elements Art. In fact I'm actually going to grab that device there I'm going to actually loop back into this device. So let me go and grab elements now as well. And I'm going to put that at the top because that's the order I prefer it in. And as we're doing um, loopbacks, I'm actually going to automatically assign the loopback port I'm using. And today I'm going to be using the box standard one called Loop MIDI, if you're using Loop MIDI. And I'm just going to change that sound and let's just bring these volumes down just slightly because it's going to get a bit louder. So let me just go and open up Element and it opens all, everything's going to open up another screen. So you're going to have to bear with me while I quickly go and drag it across. Remember, as I said, we've got to fully open this up so you can get to the bits at the bottom here because there's some bits hidden. I'm going to right click, just zoom right in so you can see exactly what's going on. I'm going to right click again. And the first thing I'm going to do is remove this MIDI out so we don't need that because that's obviously we're using for other doors. And if you just double click on any of these headers, they open up and I'm going to type in the word MIDI and we've got these MIDI, we've got quite a few MIDI stuff built in, but we've got this lovely little MIDI monitor built in and I'm just going to wire that up to the import. There we go. And I'm just going to go and drag it because it's opened up on another screen. So I'm going to drag that over here so you can see it. And I'm also going to right click and rename it because I'm going to pull more than one in. And so here we go. I'm just going to type the word in so you can see that's an input. And if I hit a key on my keyboard, hey, there we go. We've got, we've got it working. Uh, I've hit several. So we've got that one working. I'm going to grab another one because we're going to monitor what's going out. And the other thing we're also going to now do is set up our actual MIDI loopback backwards, going back to Reason. If you've never done this before, go and please see my other video, which I've just put up which is to do with um, instant composer and setting up loopbacks and all the rest of it. So there's my loopback port, so I'm gonna quickly grab that. Let's put it over the top of the other one, so I'm just gonna drag it down so it's out of the way. And if you remember rightly, um, in fact, what I've got to go and do as well, I'm just gonna go and grab this screen here. This is my output stuff. There's nothing going to connect to it, so this screen's to do with this one here. So I'm gonna double click on this one, opened up another screen again. Yes, I know, maybe I should swap my screens around. And you've got to pull this output latency right down. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start playing things and then I'm gonna probably come back to that and start messing around with that particular latency. Let's say if you go too far, it cuts out. But some days, for some reason, I have to go back further and other days, I don't have to go back as far. I don't know what's quite going on there. Obviously, something's going on with my system. So the next thing I'm gonna grab is uh, an Avenger itself because that's, Someone's requested this actually as well. How do you grab out the MIDI out of uh, Revenger? So there it is, it's gonna pop Avenger in. It's actually again, has opened up on another screen, which isn't a problem, because it means we can come over here and we can actually wire things up. I am gonna to go to the other screen and just move Avenger out my way because it's actually covering things up and I can't see my hands on the other screen. So I'm actually gonna, I like to go directly. So I'm gonna put that um, Avenger MIDI to the MIDI in. So that's now getting MIDI stuff in. And I'm going to take this MIDI and put that into my monitor. I'm going to take this loop MIDI and put that into the Avenger. So that's the Avenger bit. And I can also wire the Avenger to the audio out. You know, so I can actually play Avenger in here and we can all hear it and it should come out now. There we go, we've got ourselves a little sound coming on. So let me grab Avenger right over so you can actually see Avenger. And let's just go and grab something, shall we? What have we got here? Oh, that's cool. It's actually already playing back the other instrument. Actually, I can hear that already. But as you notice, if you can hear, there's actually a slight delay. So I'm just gonna throw Avenger off onto the other screen for the moment. So we're gonna come back here. And this, is, this would be this here. Now that's sounding quite good, so I'm gonna move that off the screen so I can see what's going on exactly in reason. So 
So I'm gonna grab, put a bit of MIDI in here, and then from that bit of MIDI in here, we're gonna record the output into the other VST, and that should be it, really. So let's come down here. Let's come here and go here. Let's come in here, let's put a snap on for the moment. Grab that up here so I can see what's going on. I want that key there, and are we right back at the beginning? No, we're not, so let's go right from the beginning. that screen as well. So it is now, it should be a simple case of just going, hit and record. I'm not gonna re-record over that, so it's gonna disarm that. Shouldn't matter at the save. And there we go. So if I mute that one out, in fact, I could even delete um, elements all the way out now if I wanted to. And we have it, and there we go. So that is it. That's how simply it is to do using Elements, using Avenger, getting the art data out into the Reason Sequencer, ready for us to, um, well, basically go off and play. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.